Hello, uh, my name is Zerka Erkatana. I come from Albania, which is a relatively small country, but as you will see, it has a lot of potential. I believe Albanian youth will change the future and I'm trying to engage so that I can uh, help myself, but also inspire young other people to also try and contribute for Albania's future. Hi, my name is Leonardo Beji. I am from Duras. I am 16 years old. I'm also part of a child-led group called Voice 16 Plus, a group that tries to uh, promote as much as it can children's rights and also try to empower the children's potential and the powerfulness that, that the children's voice has. We are a big family that accepts what's different because what's different is special. Promoting human rights is, is like the way how we can get to our final destination, which is living in a society that is free from boundaries, that can accept people to be what they truly want to be without feeling judged. I believe that Albania has a positive model to share on that matter because it has been very uh, comprehensive as a process. It included children uh, and children have been included not just uh, representing the issue as we had the chance to do but also in all the phases, even in writing the questionnaire, uh, even in writing the report that we later used. Children have been included um, and children from all different regions of Albania so that we could get a full picture of what concerns children in general. Um, so I believe uh, that this model uh, in, that happened in Albania should also be promoted in other countries so that in the next uh, UPR process, uh, not just Nian Lao, but also other children can be present and reflect their opinions and voice. Children have a very powerful voice, have a voice that can do a lot of things, have, they have the will, they have the power to do uh, good things about the world and their imagination and the brightness that a child can offer to a room full of adults is truly the essence of what the UPR is and what the UPR can change in everybody's lives. My advice goes to the parliamentarians. Um, Albania has actually a bigger number of women than uh, men in the parliament and I believe that having that advantage uh, they should use it and make women's voice be heard furthermore. Um, also the Albanian parliament has another structure which um, creates spaces for regular dialogue with children and I believe that that positive model should be a nationwide spread model so that we can uh, first and foremost create opportunities and spaces for children to be listened because they have the right capacities and they have messages and giving them a space to share those messages I believe is the core foundation of a better future. Frederick Douglass once said, it is easier to build strong children than to fix broken men. So let us use the present as a foundation to start building these strong children so that the future can be as hopeful and as bright as the children imagine it to be. The UPR is not just a project, the UPR is a process that has the potential and the capabilities of actually influencing the daily lives of every child in the world. So including children to also be part of the process where they share what the UPR is and also having children to be part of the process where they are understanding what the UPR is, is definitely essential here. One message that I have to my peers that comes from my experience is that it does not matter how little you are for your voice to be very, very, very loud and to reach out to a lot of people. So being little, it's not a disadvantage. On the contrary, it can be an advantage.